Hello folks, Sinnoh here, your new home for everything Resident Evil Resistance, and there has been a little update released, a hot fix, hot patch, hot slice of mastermind buffs have been released after the last big patch, which is the prison. Um, so we're going to take a little look at it today. I've come up with the net deck that I wouldn't say it's necessarily the strongest deck. I'll show you what it is anyway if you want to try and use it your for yourself. Um, it's maybe just more designed to show off like some of the new changes and things like that, but I managed to win against a team that was spamming Molotovs and Flash Grenades, so I mean that's pretty good in my opinion. Regardless, um, let's take a look very quickly at what they've actually changed. Thanks again for playing, we've updated the following for all platforms. Message from the Resident Evil Resistance Dev Team. Balance adjustments. Increase the base health of zombies, crawling zombies, armoured zombies, partially armoured zombies, jesters and dealers. No detonator though. Or dogs. Especially the dogs. Wah, wah. Uh, increase the base health of the supply zombie. Adjusted the amount of time added to the timer when survivors open the supply pack dropped by the supply zombie. This is now 15 seconds by the way in case you're wondering. Reduce the base damage dealt by the MQ-11 and reduce the base damage dealt by the LE-5. Uh, we are currently hard at work on a patch with further balance changes. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. So I'm actually really happy with this little hotfix. It seems to be what um, Al Yang, I've been calling him AI Yang for so long now and his name is Al Yang. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I thought it was like a pseudonym or something. He made a tweet himself about how this is like what they could fix quickly but they want to do more balance adjustments in the future and in fact let me get the tweet up for you all so that you know what I'm talking about here. So it says, Apologies Resistance fans, last patch we strove to balance both sides to be numerically more even, but honestly this created a frustrating mastermind experience and removed a lot of challenge for the survivors. This patch is items we can hotfix fast. Please look forward to the next one. Thank you. And there's me just saying thanks, good job, all that. Um, I'm actually really, really pleased. It seems to be... So what I'm getting from this is that they were striving for like a 50-50 survivor mastermind win rate. But it was making the experience really unfun at high levels of play because survivors could easily like stomp masterminds and not in like a fun close match way it was like just constantly being stunned every time you try and do something and having your zombies blow up like the second you summon them when there's like survivors get into the room it just wasn't a very fun experience and i think for a while now capcom's mentality about balance has been that they should strive for the numbers to say 50 50. Um, this tweet from Al Yang seems to suggest that after the critical feedback to this update, they're changing their tack up a little bit. It's more about perhaps making it fun to play than like striving for this like idea of perfect balance. And I just think it that's a good idea because it, it isn't fun to be a mastermind a lot of the time here. And the, the Japanese community is referring to this game as Kamada Hazado. Kamada Hazado means like camera hazard rather than biohazard, which is the Japanese name for Resident Evil, because of the prevalence of masterminds that use cameras and guns just being a more reliable way of playing the game than using creatures. So this seems to be an acknowledgement on their part that like creatures are a little underpowered, it's not really delivering on the idea of biohazard right now the game, it's like a lot of like shooting out cameras behind doors and stuff or just blowing up zombies with molotovs in two seconds. Will that still happen after this hotfix? Yes. You will still get games where Molotov Valerie will absolutely end your career. But this is a small step in the right direction. I'm also very pleased to see that Supply Pack doesn't give them 45 seconds like it used to before way too much. Base HP for zombies used to be about 800 to 890 in Area 1. Now the base HP for zombies is about 1200 to 1400 in Area 1. Area 2 you get a 20% increase and in Area 3 you get a 50% increase to zombie HP. This is really really nice obviously because it scales too. Um, if you use a lot of HP equipment you can have a normal zombie go up to about 3000 health in Area 3. I'm not really going for like all health, I'll show you what I'm building very quickly and then I'll show you a game. I'm using Fury for G Birkin, Annette players, my advice with G Birkin is to just grab a lot with them rather than trying to hit them with the pipe unless you think you can get a down and somebody's very injured. Um, you want to use grab over and over to bait them into using molotovs and grenades so that they have less available against your horde later on. And Fury is also nice because if things are going awry and you don't want to use them anymore, you can just bounce out. Birkin is very slow. He's not very good at killing people unless they're already like struggling or in a corner. 
um, so I prefer to just use them to bait out grenades. Then buffs. Uh, I would like to make a deck about recovery later on, but for now I'm using buffs as the passive here so that they work better. Enhancement, that's a 50% increase for all of your zombies, like by default as well in a net, so that's quite a lot of HP we're getting here, folks. Tough zombie with Berserker Aura. I'm not using a Berserker Enhancer, but I'm using this guy to like carry some of the slack in Area 2 in particular. Um, he shares the buffs that he has on him with nearby zombies, not just Berserker Aura. It also applies to other buffs, do bear that in mind. Concentrating Enhancer because it's the GOAT. Still amazing card, honestly. Then we have, for equipment, resilient skin 3 and 2. We have Viral Canister 3, so I'm playing like an infection style to try and like really whittle away at their time here with all the zombies that they can't kill very quickly. And then Fresh Blood 2. I think that Fresh Blood 2 works pretty well, it doesn't have to necessarily be 3. I'm kind of conflicted about this equipment because I feel like it's really useful. It makes your zombies way better, way more aggressive. But I feel like it should just be part of the zombie AI rather than having to spend like 2-3 points and take up a mastermind equip slot. It's a bit weird in my opinion. This is just the way that zombies should be. Um, it makes them a lot better. They just are more aggressive. They just work. In my opinion. So fresh blood, great boon for creature masterminds. And then finally the deck here. I'm kind of just erring on the side of using a lot of the basic zombies to show it off in action. So basic zombie, dealer, Tough zombie, quick draw so I don't draw too many enhancers, or if I don't draw too many creatures all at once without enhancing them. Uh, Jester, so that I can like lock them down in big areas. I'm using machine gun for those moments where like I can't really do a lot more with the creatures themselves and I want to harass them, or in particular somebody gets grabbed, this is great for making sure they get downed. Enhancer Energy Leech, Infection because we have the Viral Canister so it has a bit more use here. Enhancer Regen so that they struggle to kill things very quickly and Inefficiency Mod Creatures. This is just a very kind of basic kind of Horde Infection mentality I'm going for here to show off the new changes in action and see how long my zombies last. Okay, let's get into a game. Alright, what have you got for us? We got a rank 77 Valerie. 46 Samuel, 66 Jill and a 17 Becca. So the Becca's maybe? Newer? Who knows? It's hard to tell, obviously, because you can only look at the rank for one character, but um, this is quite a good composition against me. Uh, Samuel can stun zombies really easily and not get infected. Becca will be able to kill things from outside of doorways quite easily, if she wants to. Well, quite easily. They have more health, I guess. And of course, Valerie, destroyer of worlds. So, I'm gonna have to bring my A-game for this one. We're on the prison. Prison area one is a little weird because there's multiple different paths the survivors can take. So you have to be really careful as a net not to like set up a horde in an we area that they can kind of run in, get the key item and run out again. Like here perhaps can be a bit tricky. And like setting up in this room is nice, but if they run and get it and then run out again, I guess you're not Another really doing much. So I'm gonna be a bit more careful here. Closer to death. If I can. setting up for this room later on, but for the time being, they have to get this key item right, so unless they come around all the way here to get it, chances are this will work out. Please, reconsider. You don't have to activate that. Okay, so Samuel's going over here. I might be able to get some infection done if I control this. We'll handle this myself. The earlier they start coughing, the better for me. And remember, when you control a zombie, it's plus 50% toughness to it, so it can help it just survive longer. Yeah, we got the muck grenade here from Valerie. Thank you. It's only 15 seconds. You actually get less energy regeneration when you're controlling a zombie, though, so you do need to be careful of that. It works the same way that guns do. No. no. <laughs> I do not. Even as you fight, you Which I think is why they changed guns. I wasn't- I didn't like that change at first. I was like, oh, it just seems like a really cheap way to, like, nerf Nikolai, but now I've discovered there's actually a reason for it. Okay, so they're in this room. I cannot sit idly by while you attempt to use I lock the door here? Just like on the range. It'll take more than that to stop I think the zombie's trash. leg is broken. Yeah, he's pretty useless now, unfortunately, but he is infecting them. Here comes Sam. This is, this is the big one, folks. Oh, he moved at the last minute there. That's unfortunate. He doesn't have the key item, though, so... Jokes on him. Let's just set up for this room, huh? 
Nice. Good grab there. Your continued efforts only place humanity Hoping for like a screen perhaps? That door's locked, so she can't just dip out there. Overcome your resistance with strength. Of course. This is locked too, so she can't get through that. Yeah, she's in trouble now. Even with all of her dodging and stuff, she's in trouble. Thank you for not fighting, Carter. One more grab would be nice. Here comes the Molotovs finally, though. I was wondering when she was going to use them. I'll just harass her for a bit. I don't think her aim's that good. Double grab, maybe? No. Good healing spree, perhaps, though, to make sure they get out. Come on, clowns. Grab them. Get them. Okay, they're going to get out of here. I maybe could have, like, harassed the others. This will be over. Just to try and shave off a little bit more time there. Lock this door. See if I can get a leg grab here. Oh, too slow perhaps. Oh, I got her. Give me 50 seconds. Nice. That's totally worth it, IMO. There's Sam too. Okay. A little bit too focused perhaps in one room and I should have like bounced off and started spawning other er zombies through the area rather than spending so long controlling that one zombie and like chasing Jill. Um, but not a bad area one by all means. I'm pretty sure I've got this in the bag and she How used quite a lot of Molotovs there thankfully. Plus I got the supply I zombie. Not let you live. So that's great. This is an okay spawn point for York. It's a little weird because they can just go through the shoot through the window. So don't get into the weird habit of putting all your zombies in this room because like if they shoot through the window, they can take out your zombies without them being able to do anything. So just be careful of that. I actually hit him with the enhancer there, do you see? So I'm gonna try and buff this room up. Oh, they're already here. Goodness. Oh, no, they're not. That's something else I'm hearing. Also, I infected him, even though I shouldn't have. Oh, that's not going to perhaps. Let's make sure everything in here... Like, this is it, basically, so... Alright. Trying to, yeah, bait her into using Molotovs if she can't. Nah, she's not gonna. Oh, her leg is broken. Oh, damn, again? It's kind of unfortunate. Alright, here, this is what I want. This Jill's quite clever, she's probably their strongest link. Help me finish this. Entering the room there by using the... the hit that, like, stuns them, rather than, like, walking into the room, because it gives them some frames to walk out again. Just trying to get their Molotovs off them. That's all I want here. I want them to use up Molotovs, use up grenades. I'm not gonna kill them, really. Waste time, waste resources. Yeah, Jill's going for it. There goes a poor clown in the background. Very well. Yeah. The key card is yours. Because William is so slow, he's very useless a lot of the time. This is like the most use you can get out of him, honestly. She missed. They might abandon her here. Yeah, they're going for the supply zombie and stuff. Perhaps Becca's coming back? She's got another Molotov. Look, even the Becca's got Molotovs aplenty. Like, come on. This patch is kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Too slow. Okay, let's give up. Okay, you got it! Um, I don't think I can sit up in this room in time. I think they'll just come back. I don't think I need this anymore, so couple of zombies in here. Oh, she's already here. Jill. Very fast. Give me some energy back. Nice. I'm gonna use the machine gun in a minute. Yeah, they got a grenade launcher. They're gonna get so much time now. He's coughing though. What they really want to do is shoot out this camera. She's quite injured, so this might kill her. Yeah, there we go. Kill her. Down her, should I say. You know how long that's gonna last. Okay, Beck is being clever here. 
This gives me some time to set up for this room again. I don't think I can do much in this room anymore. Each step they take brings you. They're probably gonna get through this area, unfortunately. A jester here. Even as you fight, your I'm a little bit low on energy. The energy leech hasn't managed to do a lot for me at the moment, which is a shame. They are just killing very quickly, but they're probably running low on supplies at this point. Okay, they're all coming from this side, apart from Jill at the back, which is very clever, actually. That's exactly what I told you Becca was going to do. Just sit outside the doors and kill everything. There's another supply zombie that's like right there, I think. Ugh. Give me a chance, man. Like, seriously. Disgusting, really. I really... I mean, they only got 15 seconds now. Which is nice, I guess. But, ugh. Oh, she took out her grenade launcher. Or rocket launcher right there. That doesn't cancel it, though, does it? No. But still, I'm like wasting more of their time. Wow, she does the USBs very quickly, that Jill. I <laughs> got Samuel. 10, 15, 20, 25 seconds. Can I lock this door? No, I couldn't lock it in time. Damn, I could have got a little bit more time off them. Okay, so I'm doing pretty well for Area 3 against a composition that's like very heavy anti-creature right now. So this is looking quite good for me. I know they're going to stock up a lot here, but um, if I don't feed them too much time, I think I can do this. I have to just be careful. I haven't been poisoning them enough, which is a shame. This is not a bad first score to get in my opinion. Kind of awkward with the amount of enhancers I've got though. There we go. Try and space them out a little bit so they don't just all blow up. And let them like trickle in as well. Okay, they're starting to come out here. I've got a couple of infectious zombies there. They probably won't live very long, but if they use molotovs and those infectious zombies, I'm actually okay. Okay, so they're coming from this direction. I'm gonna try and harass them into Each step walking down the stairs. You closer to death. They seem to split up as well. Yeah, I'm totally gonna win this, I think. William. You can still help me. There goes Becca. Yeah, and Samuel's getting harassed over here. I've totally got this. They shouldn't have split up. He's using grenades now too. God, even the Samuel's packing, but it's too late. And then just make sure that Valerie... Where is she? Oh, she ran back. Anyway, this game is mine. So there you go. Um, Maybe a couple of things I could have done better, particularly in Area 2. A little bit too much controlling one zombie, perhaps, on my part. Um, Like I said before, I don't know if this is like the strongest Annette build I can come up with, but it's just nice to feel... A little bit stronger and like I'm not just feeding them normal zombies every time I summon them now for easy time and that was against a team that was absolutely abusing molotovs and flash grenades as much as they could there and I managed to win so I'm quite happy with that overall um, I would maybe consider taking out one of the enhancers from this deck but I do like how much it infects survivors um, overall maybe the regen is sometimes too much who knows but Regardless, uh, I hope that you enjoy playing as Annette and Daniel a little bit more as a result of this update. And I'll see you all next time. This has been Sino. Take care. Goodbye.